hey my YouTubers and everyone in the world. Today is July the 13th. The time is now 2.34 p.m. guys. It was a beautiful Saturday all day. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you can see more of me. Now today's topic is very important to me and I felt like I wanted to discuss it with you guys. Um, we're going to talk all about celibacy, my celibacy journey, the reason why I decided to become celibate and what are the benefits that I've gained from being being celibate this is going to be part one because then i'm going to do a part two strictly for you guys but to get into the topic today i decided that i wanted to become celibate because i felt like i was losing myself a lot of times when we are dating people and we're out there with our partners and we're having sex and we're doing all these other crazy things, like, especially when we know we shouldn't before marriage, like, it causes a lot of confusion in our life and it messes with your mind because from my experience, I feel like I've given myself to people who really weren't worthy, who didn't do anything to deserve what I had to offer. And I felt like I was doing it because I wanted to have fun, maybe because I liked the guy. But still, like, I, I also felt like I was having sex because, okay, well, if I want this guy to stay around, then obviously I know that he wants to have sex. And that's going to be one of the, the main ways to keep him around. But if a guy does not deserve it, if a guy has not earned it, then why am I giving this up? And that's what I had to start asking myself. And then I was in these relationships with people, you know, doing all these sexual activities. And after they got what they wanted, they was mean, they was nasty, you know, they was rude and disrespectful, talking about other women. And, you know, it made me feel uncomfortable. So I had to really like go deep down inside myself and I had to ask myself questions like, why are you having sex with these guys that you're dating? Um, you know, like, why not wait until marriage? Why not get to know the person more? And I felt like that was the problem. I did not take the time to get to know them at that point in time. You know, I thought I knew them because they showed me a side of them that they wanted me to see. But I learned more about their true character after we, you know, had sexual relations. So, you know what? I decided nine months ago, and I've been celibate for nine months so far, I decided that I'm not going to have sex. Like, I need to take time to get everything aligned in one. I need to take time for me. Because I felt like I was losing myself and I was focusing more on them and what they were doing after, you know, we did what we did. And I was focusing less on myself and that was a problem. It was a very, very big problem because it's like, you know, I just felt like I wasn't paying myself the attention that I needed to get my life together. So now that we got that out the way... I have been celibate for nine months, and I'm going to tell you guys the benefits of celibacy. And I know that some people are going to be like, I would never become celibate. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough. It's not for me. Celibate for what? But honestly speaking, most of the time when you guys are out there having sex with people, whether it's one night stands, whether it's somebody you're dating, a lot of times you give them stuff that they haven't even earned, that they don't deserve, you know, and you know it. But instead of you disciplining yourself, what you're doing is, okay, I'm just going to have sex with him because he's fine, because he's cute, because he's handsome. But what else does he have to offer you? You know, is he willing to wait for you? Are you, are like, does he think in his mind that you're worthy of waiting for to have sex? So it's just a lot that comes with it. But, you know, when you have sex with people, but anyways, like I said before, what I've learned is I've learned self-discipline. I've learned that it's not always all about sex. And I'm okay with not having sex. Like, it's not a big deal to me. Like, some people were like, I would never do it. Me? I thought that I couldn't do it. But see, I don't think like that anymore. I can do it. And I've been doing it for nine months strong. And that's as of yet. Like, I don't even think about sex as much as like I used to, you know, because it's not a part of my daily routine anymore. I'm more focused on getting my life together. I'm more focused on having a relationship with God. 
I'm more focused on finding myself. What is it that I want to do in my life? Let me, um, you know, put or, you know, put my ducks in a row. I have this goal. I have that goal. I have that goal. So I'm getting in tuned with myself and I don't have any distractions. You know, having sex is sometimes a distraction, especially when it's with someone that you're just dating, someone that you really don't even know who this person really is. You know, um, I'm not focused on anyone else anymore. And that's a good feeling. And then I don't have to worry about STDs. I don't have to worry about unplanned pregnancies. I don't have to worry about this guy cheating on me with some girl and trying to bring something back to me. And he don't even know that he have it. Like, there's so many benefits to being celibate, you know. And I've gotten to know my body more. I've gotten more comfortable with my actual body inside and out. And that's a great feeling because when you sit there and you're having sex and you're letting people have sex with you that are not worthy, it's like, it's like a part of you is taken away from time to time. And that's a part of you that you can't get back. But once you take time to get to know you, it's, it's, it's a good feeling because now I know what I want out of life. I know what I want out of a man. I know what I want out of a relationship, a marriage, And I never had time to think about those things because I was so busy, you know, chasing behind this guy or entertaining this guy. And for what? All that for what? And I still am by myself right now because in order for me to meet the guy that God wants me to be in relations with, I have to be in tune with myself and the universe And as long as I'm giving my attention to people who don't deserve it, people who haven't earned it, people who probably don't even have good intentions for me, it's like I'm getting further away from that guy that I'm supposed to meet because I'm not in tune with myself. So me being celibate has taught me so much. And to be honest with you, I think... I don't, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to wait until marriage. Maybe I will. Who knows? I didn't see myself ever becoming celibate. And I'm nine months strong. And I'm okay. It's like I'm at a point where I'm good without having sex. It's not a big deal to me. I've heard stories about women who went, you know, seven years without having sex. Who's Who's been celibate for seven years? Ten years being celibate. I'm not saying I'm going to be 10 years being celibate or seven years, but you know, to give yourself time to get in tune with you without any outside distractions is priceless. It's priceless. You know, I was telling my homegirl about how I was going to talk about my celibacy and, you know, come out to you guys about it and be honest about it because I'm comfortable with my choices for my life and she was like well why would you want people to know that and I'm like because I want them to know that sex is not that big of a deal it's clearly overrated you know what I'm saying and if you've already had relations you know what sex is like if you want to meet the guy of your dreams if you want to meet the woman of your dreams sometimes you have to get to know yourself first so you know what you're bringing to the table how you can make that relationship better or what you're expecting out of your partner but if you always have the wrong type of people around you these are distractions that's taken away from you becoming better than what you are right now I feel like my celibacy has helped me come a long way. It's helped me come a long way. I have no distractions with guys or whoever. I have no distractions. Right now, I'm clear about what it is that I want, the goals that I want to accomplish, how long I'm giving myself time to accomplish these goals, how I'm going to accomplish these goals, and the things that I'm getting to know me. I'm getting to know myself, and that to me is priceless. And I thank my celibacy for that because if it wasn't for me taking that time, that break away from sex, I would still be the same person I was nine months ago. Lost, you know, just having fun. But imagine unplanned pregnancies and you're not prepared for that. That's a big deal. Imagine going to the doctor for them to say you have an STD because you had sex with the wrong person. Somebody burned you. That happens every day. 
I don't have to worry about that because you know what? I'm not doing anything. I'm focused on me. I'm focused on my relationship with God. I'm focused on becoming more powerful than I've ever been. So yes, I am celibate and I'm proud to say it. And I don't feel guilty. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. I don't feel lonely. Like I'm comfortable with myself. I'm good. I'm good. I have more strength than I ever had. So yes, I wanted to share that story time with you guys. And I want you to know this is part one. Part two will be tomorrow. But if you like this video and you guys can relate, leave some comments down below because you know I check them out. And like I always say, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And of course, visit my website at shopleveronline.com. Until next time, guys. Peace.